Hello everybody, call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to revisit something we've talked about before, which is not totally unique to Alabama, that is very unique for home buyers, and that's Caveat M Tour, or better known today as Buyer Beware. And you know, a lot of folks that come from out of state don't really understand what all that encompasses and what does that really mean. And the way to say it is that sellers are only responsible for disclosing material defects if they are actually what we call latent. And a latent defect is a defect that affects the health and safety of the home or the people that would live in the home that could not be found through the course of a normal inspection of the property. In other words, if an inspector could find the problem very easily, maybe it was a, uh, a you know uh, siding that was peeling off that would cause water to enter the property easily. That is not a latent defect. It's not hidden. It's not where someone can't see it uh, in the normal course of an inspection. And best example I can give you, let's say a basement wall was completely cracked and really crumbling and, and, and a seller decides, hey, instead of disclosing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a maybe a brick veneer or some kind of veneer over it so as to seal it and hide the fact that the foundation's crumbling. There would not be any way that a general inspection of the property would be able to find this because obviously in the inspection process it's very hard to take something that permanent as the veneer uh, if you put brick up whatever you put up uh, to cover the the crumbling foundation it would be very hard for someone to see it that would be a latent defect it affects the health and safety in other words that house could come crumbling down and and that seller uh, was covering it up so that seller would have a fundamental duty under Alabama law and the courts have backed it up to disclose that latent defect because in the normal course of a home inspection or an inspection by the buyers or their representative it could not be found so what does that mean for you if you're a buyer it means you got to get as many inspections as you can because while that sounds like hey you know there's so many latent defects you don't want to leave it up to the court to decide what is a latent defect and you want to ask as many direct questions of sellers as you can so under Alabama you know uh, uh, under the code of ethics and in license law generally a real estate agent and their seller needs to answer any direct question asked of them by the buyer so make sure that if you're a buyer and you're nervous about something create a list ask that seller directly or through their agent any question or concern that you have because they need at that point to answer those direct questions honestly but they're under no duty to come right out and tell you every little defect in the home and in Alabama that's called buyer beware if you have any questions or comments email me call your at megaagents.com hope you're having an awesome day bye bye